Repeating the same git commands over and over again can be such a waste of time. And also, the most powerful commands are usually long and impossible to memorize. That's why git aliases have been introduced. Setting up an alias is really simple. Just open up a terminal and type git config dash dash global alias dot command name and the command you want to run right after. In this case, if I call git st, it will give me the result of git status. Okay, this was easy, but what about this long command over here? Git, log, color, graph, whatever. I don't believe you if you say you remember it by heart or you type it every single time you want a log. That's why you can type git config dash dash global alias dot lg, paste this line and you never have to remember this long command again. Look at how cool and colorful this log is. If with these two examples I convince you that aliases are cool, let me give you a little bit more knowledge to use aliases mindfully and I'll also share with you later on a list with cool aliases I found and I collected myself. You probably always see aliases being set up with the global flag, but what does that mean? Well, this global flag is from git config and it means that your config will be valid for every single repository. There's no need to worry about other developers as git config is valid only in your machine and is not uploaded anywhere. This also means you can set up all the aliases you want with the names you find more reasonable or easier to remember. In the intro of this video, we saw two examples of aliases, but let me show you how far you can push the boundaries so that you can pick up the aliases you like the most. To begin with, if you don't want to run git config every single time, you can open the global git config file with your favorite editor. This file is called .gitconfig. Okay, cool. From here, we can easily set them up. In this basic example, if I want to type git commit, I can just use git cm and they get the exact same result. But I still need to pass dash m to add the message. Or do I? Well, you can embed these in the alias directly so that you can use git cm and add your message right away. Did you notice how fast I reset my previous commit? That's because I added an alias running soft reset of one commit ahead. Unfortunately, not all the glitter is gold. Oh. Because with aliases, you cannot concatenate commands, run and use parameters, and use the git command multiple times. But... Bang! Yes, the bang operator is the solution. With that, you can use entire shell commands inside your git aliases, which means potentially doing everything you want. The most common usage is when you need to concatenate multiple git commands. In this example, you can add all your unstaged files and immediately get the status output as a result. How convenient! The weirdest usage instead, which sometimes is quite smart, is this bizarre syntax over here. The gist is that you begin your command by declaring a function and the last thing you do is executing it. But why would you do something like that? The answer is parameters and probably showcasing how good you are with shell commands. To showcase a more realistic example, that script that you never remember, which deletes all the local branches no longer on remote. By declaring it in a function, you can easily do all your shenanigans to achieve the goal. Well, at this point, we have all the bindi blocks we need to understand even more complex aliases. Let me show you a list of the ones I think are most useful. If you want to grab them, there's a convenient GitHub link in the video description. There's no need to say thank you. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any future video. My idea was to give you first some knowledge on how things work underneath. Now, I'm sure you're just gonna copy paste the aliases you want and forget about everything I said today. But hey, at least I tried to give you some information and if you want to edit or customize one of the aliases you just found, you should have all you need to do that. Also, in case you have more aliases you know that are useful, feel free to drop them down below so that everyone else can grab them. Bonus content! Technically, you could even avoid using the keyword git when you type the commands. How? Well, your favorite shell like bash or zsh also supports aliases by itself. In addition, tools like ohmyzsh already come with a git plugin that supports natively git aliases already up and running. I think I'll make a dedicated video on that topic. Now that you've set up all your git aliases and you're super productive with git, you can immediately apply this skill in open source. 
You know why? Open source can actually change your life. Yeah, I know it's kind of a bold statement, but have a look at this video and I'll tell you why. Oh, I almost forgot. Hit like here and then you can go there. See you later.